Hello there guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys a updated way of grinding Alchara. This one has been made for update 6.4. Um, I will be going through the locations and all that that I've already made videos on and most likely making an updated video on them because the AI is super easy to understand where they're going to go now because they all just move in packs. So maybe two videos a week until I get all the locations I've already done uh, finished and yeah let's get into it so firstly you definitely want to have all of your utility the most important one is frags these other three aren't super important but if you want to see without using like a helmet flashlight or something or night vision the torches torches to go you can get your soda if you want which is back there and yep after that all you want to do is head to the vehicle bay and grab a jeep or if you want to get or if you want to go over there some some other way you can and uh yeah i'll see you guys whenever i get there all right now we're at Altrara. what you want to do is you can park your vehicle here if you want to be safer but if you want to get maximum efficiency out of your car park right here but make sure you stay really close to that wall right there so that you don't get spotted without wanting to be spotted after that you're going to want to run immediately to that as as soon as possible because if you don't then you're gonna get spotted and mess up the pathing now what you want to do is you want to just take out any enemies that you see in front of you make sure to always be kind of turning to that one side over here to the right, making sure that nobody's trying to flank you. Because there's sometimes people that spawn over there. And for now, just take out as many enemies as possible while standing behind this barricade. Because I don't know why, but they can't hit a thing whenever you stand here. If you're taking too much damage, just prone and take a dressing and then a bandage if it's a lot, a good amount of health. And if you're actively getting flanked by a few people, I suggest using a vitamin. After that, you just want to walk up to the entrance. You can check for intel if you want to. Make sure you're always looking around these corners to the right because that's where, where the that's where the majority of them will be. As you can see there, that guy was not. We here, we got two guys just in a line. Take that guy out. Grab, if, grab intel if you want it. If you're just here for the intel, this is an amazing strategy as well because it puts them all on the line. Very easy to find. You're, you're going to go through the left side of the courtyard. And then at this point, you can go around the building and look through the glass, shoot people if you want to. But I'm just going to go inside here. If you get spotted, just stay looking at the stairs for now. Because there's a good chance that somebody will be coming down them. If you did not get spotted, however, feel free to just clear the, the rest of this floor. Alright, now here, you want a third person to pick the stairs. There's usually somebody there, but there isn't anymore. If you get spotted in the stairwell, immediately look up the flight of stairs to find out, to find if anybody's coming up or down. This door's kind of buggy. So if it only half opens, just run through it. It'll open by itself. Check all the rooms. Come up here. If you want to clear the roof now, go ahead. There's a slight chance that they will not all come off the roof. Then from there, open this door. Third person peeking is a really good habit to get into because it allows you to see stuff without being seen. I just want to go around here. Do not blow up that barrel, especially if you do not want your reputation to be lowered. Because that will 
very much kill most of the civilians in this building. If not all. Now, you've cleared the whole place. Now, where do you think he could be? He is most likely... The last enemy is most likely going to be on the flagpole. So, let's go ahead and go there. What do you know? Somebody's right here. Kill him. We have now cleared it. After, now that you've killed the last person, head to the roof and resupply while we wait for reinforcements to come. And our main objective is to wait until a truck with a bunch of enemies in the back comes so that we can throw our uh, fragmentation grenade at them. Boom. There is a slight chance the, this, um, I'll just call it a care package, or resupply it technically, will fall off the roof or glitch into another floor. It is rare, but it can happen. If it does, then, um, I kicked that very far. If it does, then just go resupply from there and don't worry, worry too much about it. Now, what you want to do is, firstly, check out any enemies that you see um, after you've reloaded from the roof up, up, at this vantage point. You don't need a full auto anybody. You can take it slow. So methodical. Very precise. Now, if there's no enemies around, you want to go ahead and put yourself up here and kind of just turn your camera from side to side, checking if there's anybody spawning in, running at you, or anything. As long as you keep them away from the building, this is going to be your best bet for survival up until the reinforcement waves come, which then there is a different thing depending on the wave. So now I will wait for the wave to come. Oh, I don't need to wait. Alright, if, if two guys come out from there, then another two guys will come out from here. There's a little bit of time in between them, in, in between each reinforcement wave, so you can go and just wait a little bit, or just resupply. It's up to you and your circumstance. Now, whenever you are just holding this location, and you're just holding out against these little waves, I suggest using almost always bandages, unless you get really hurt and you need to heal quickly. Then use a dressing with the bandage. And then if you're about to die, then just use a vitamin because vitamins will pick you up. It's a weird glitch, but it's called the vitamin glitch. You can pick yourself up just by using a vitamin. Flintstone gummies saves lives. Okay, you can definitely tell that something has spawned in just by the fact that you lag. Because... I have a pretty good PC, and the fact that I just lagged is terrifying. Alright, now that you see the- if you see the truck, I'm- Future Fox are here. So to aim this nade well, align the grenade vertically with the truck, with the wheels at the bottom of your screen, and you'll hit it. Immediately throw your grenade in that area, and just wait for them all to die. There you go. I will put a freeze frame on the angle that I was holding. And try to give you guys a rough estimate of where to aim. Just so that it's a lot easier for you guys. Because I can eyeball this pretty easily. But a, a lot of people can't. Now that you have used your fragmentation grenade. You are going to just go back to your jeep. There are other waves. Like there's this one with a... Humvee that comes in. There's one with a helicopter that comes in. But those are decently simple. There's only one vehicle. Uh, the main thing that you want to deal with with the Humvee one is the gunner. If you take out the gunner, then you won't be immediately killed or anything. And if you just stand up on the left side, deal with them accordingly, it'll be all fine. And the helicopter, you can just shoot down pretty easily. With the double helicopter one, I'm not sure if that one still exists or no. I haven't seen it with my testing. 
but if that one does happen, just try to prevent them. Just try to prevent the closest helicopter from entering the member. Just try to prevent the members of the closest helicopter from entering the compound, and then you'll be good. Now that you're back at FOB, go ahead and turn in your intel for for even more money. We resupply and get back to grinding. It's as simple as that. And with that, this video is over. Hit like, subscribe, turn on notifications so you get notified whenever I upload. I try to upload every Saturday. And yep, see ya.